You see this little bit of grit in our third coat of finish here? This is one of the many reasons we are quitting oil-based finish. Watch us do a recoat on this white oak floor while we explain the other reasons. Oil-based finish takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours to dry, while water-based finish usually only takes around 2 hours. Since these floors are finished in an open air environment, there is always a little bit of debris floating around in the air. It comes from the air vents, it falls off the trim and window sills, and the longer the floor is wet, the more debris lands in it. The oil-based finish tends to latch onto the debris and the finish actually sticks to it. It coagulates around it and it really causes it to jump out at you. You can see it and you can feel it very easily. The next reason we are quitting oil base is the toxicity of it. The amount of VOCs found in oil base is usually two to three times the level found in an equivalent water-based finish. I won't get super into VOCs, but they are pretty much chemical compounds the government has linked to cancer. It dissipates from the home pretty quickly, but we don't want our employees to have to work with it constantly. Next is the odor. Oil base smells terrible and the odor lingers for weeks to months in the home. The water-based finish smells strong as well, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot less strong and it dissipates much quicker. Finally is VOC laws. Depending on your state, oil-based may be very hard to get. It may only come in courts or you may not be able to get it at all. Michigan just changed the laws to where we can only buy it a quart at a time. We were buying it in five gallon buckets before. Having to open all those little courts is a major annoyance and a waste of time, and simply the straw that broke the camel's back. However, there are several instances where we still recommend using oil-based products. Floor stains should always be oil-based because water-based stains simply dry too fast to apply them properly. You're not going to get them perfectly even. The next instance is floors that likely have contaminants in them like salt or chemicals. In Michigan, we often run into old commercial floors that have had a lot of salt on them. The salt goes deep into the pores of the wood and it will react with some water-based finishes. Oil-based is generally pretty tough against chemicals. All that being said, it's still a good product if you're willing to put up with the downsides. If you're looking for pro-grade materials to DIY your own hardwoods, check out our website below for all the stuff you need, and if you like this video, please subscribe.